Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about high-end blushes. I've already made a video on my channel talking about high-end foundations. I'm going to link that video. But now let's talk about blushes. If there's one makeup product that truly makes me happy, it's a blush. I honestly feel I have a weird attachment to blushes, like I can't get rid of any of them. But the good thing about blushes is that they don't get bad very because you know, they're powder products, so they do have a longer shelf life compared to like foundations or other cream products. So without making the intro super long, let's talk about my favorite high-end blushes. Those blushes that I would recommend to anyone, especially those who have art, they see skin tones. I'm also going to add the shades because in blushes, shades matter a lot. So I'm going to talk about my favorite shade and my favorite formula. So yeah, let's start with the video. So I'm going to start with Tarte blushes. I have these mini sizes. I have three of these. I have a full size. I love Tarte blushes. I got a set which had all the minis. I only have one full size. I'm going to add a video of that. It's in the shade Captivating. That's my favorite Tarte shade. That is my favorite fun loving summer shade. This is the shade Captivating which is a bright peach shade, looks really nice on Desi skin tones because of its warm undertone and I really love the bright fresh color. It's very firmly pressed so it's not very powdery or it doesn't have a lot of fallout but it shows up really nicely on the skin and it's quite pigmented. If you're close to my skin tone, it looks really pretty on our skin tone. So if you want a tart blush, I'm going to say that's my favorite. But honestly, all the tart blushes are so good. There are some that are absolutely matte and then there are some that have a slight shimmer in it. So depending on the kind of formula that you really like, you can pick. What I absolutely love about these blushes is that they're so long wearing. The thing about blush is that it comes off the face super quick. So for me, long lasting is very important. Another thing that's really important is that it blends seamlessly. I like it that it becomes one with the skin and your powder and your other makeup products. It blends so beautifully. A lot of blushes, they emphasize texture. These do not and they make your skin so smooth. I like the fact that I can layer them. They layer well with all the other makeup products. They are very good. I'm talking about the Tarte Amazonian Clay blushes. I don't know if... They have another blush formula but this is the one that i absolutely love and i know so many people love it even if you have a mini size it's going to last you for years and years because it's so beautifully pigmented it's not too pigmented that you look like a clown but it's so beautifully pigmented that you don't need a lot of it it just looks really beautiful it does last a really really long time on the skin as well as in the pan because you just need a little bit okay so the next blush that i absolutely love is a mac blush mac blushes have been in the market for so long a lot of people love mac blushes and rightly so and although mac is such an old formula but still it stands the test of time and people still love it what i love about this i think i picked up the wrong shade the one i love is i actually love two shades one is melba the other is peaches peaches is a sheer tone formula and melba is a matte formula this is the shade Melba by MAC. It's a peachy pink shade, goes with pretty much any look. It's a really matte formula. It's a little powdery and if you like a blush that doesn't have any shine or sheen, this is the one to go for. It's very long lasting, very pigmented but it's a little dry so sometimes when I want a little bit of sheen, this is not the one I go for. Instead, I go for peaches. Peaches, as the name suggests, is a peachy shade. This has a bit of sheen in it and it's a lot more blendable than Melba. It's not as powdery or matte as Melba. It's also a little more vibrant in color. So I feel this is a great shade to wear in the summers. And if you want a bit more color on your skin, this is the one I go for. This has a slight smoothness to it compared to Melba, which is a lot more dry. So I feel this is more smooth and it has a satin finish instead of a complete matte finish. So if you like a matte blush that's very long lasting, very smooth and very very pigmented then you'll probably like the matte formula which is Melba which is a pretty pretty shade. If you like a peachy pink shade it is so pretty but if you like a more sheer formula which is buildable but not very pigmented and it's more smooth on the skin. Although I feel it's not as long lasting as the matte formula but the sheer tone formula is still very good. I love the shade Peaches. It brings so much color and youth to your skin and you just you start looking young and fresh and so pretty. Again, I'll keep saying pretty and youthful and you know, blushes just make you look youthful. So I know I keep repeating the same adjectives, but that is what a blush feels to me. Another thing that I absolutely love about a MAC formula is that there is minimal fallout. The packaging is so basic, but the product inside is so beautiful that, you know, 
I always need to have that. Okay, so the next blush I'm going to talk about is one that I feel looks the most natural and I love it in the winters. If you like those rosy pink cheeks, which looks really natural in the winters because it feels like, you know, look where it looks like you're naturally flushed, your skin is naturally flushed and it looks really rosy pinky in the winters. This is the blush that gives me that look and specifically this shade. I'm talking about the Laura Mercier uh, blush. I have a mini size. I like the fact that I have a mini size because I have so many blushes. So whenever I get a chance to get a mini size, I always get that because, you know, I don't use up makeup as quickly as I buy it. So having a mini size is less wasteful and I actually will use up a product before it goes bad. So the one I have is the shade Rose. This shade Rose is a muted dusty pink shade which is quite buildable. It's not very pigmented when you first put it on but you can build it up to quite a bit of color coverage. It has warm undertones so again looks really nice on us desi skin tone girls. This is such a pretty rosy shade. If you like rosy cheeks, this is the best matte blush for that. There are other shades in the Laura Mercier formula as well but I don't like them. I just tried one more. The shade is Peaches or peach i don't like it as much this is the shade this particular shade in this formula is my favorite it looks natural because it's matte and it doesn't have a shimmer so it looks natural and also it blends so well with the skin even if you're not wearing foundation or powder it looks very natural if you use it on its own it blends seamlessly it looks very natural and you can build it up and it's also quite long lasting on my skin I absolutely love this one and once I use this up, I'm going to get a full size but I feel like I'm not going to use it up. The thing about blushes is they do last a very long time because you use them on a very small part of your face so you don't use up blushes as quickly as other products maybe like a foundation or a concealer. So I feel like getting a high-end blush makes most sense because they do last you for years and years. Okay, so the next blush is a blush that I wear to weddings because it gives my skin such a pretty glow while giving colors. The one I'm talking about is this Hourglass uh, blush. The packaging is so pretty, it makes you feel so luxurious and like, you know, good. I love makeup products that have good packaging. You know, if you're spending so much money on a makeup product, you want the packaging to be, you know, high end as well because you're like, I'm spending so much money, it should look good in my hands and on my vanity. So the blush that I'm talking about, the shade is Diffused Heat. This looks so pretty on the skin because it has a highlighter mixed into it. It doesn't have a very blinding highlighter, but it has those uh, shimmer particles. So whenever I'm using this, I don't feel like I need an extra highlighter. And if I want a very subtle highlighter and a beautiful flush on the skin, this is the one I use. This is not very pigmented, but it does give you enough color that, you know, you look like you have a natural glow. This gives a subtle radiance to the skin because it has the ambient lighting powders mixed into this and they're famous for blurring and smoothing the skin. So it does that while giving color to your skin. Although the color is not very pigmented, the blush is not very pigmented, but it looks really natural and smooth. The only thing I don't like about these is that it's not very long lasting. Although the blurring effect stays, but the color goes away after like a few hours. But for the few hours that it stays, it looks really beautiful. A lot of shimmer blushes I cannot wear in the daytime because it looks really unnatural. This is not one of them. This looks pretty in the daytime as well as at night. I absolutely love this blush for any important event where I want a very subtle but very beautiful, smooth, glowy blush. This looks really pretty. If you want that glowy makeup look, these are perfect for that. Even if you're wearing a mattifying foundation or a, you know, mattifying powder, these still bring back glow to your skin and your skin looks glowy without, you know, feeling greasy at all. Another thing that I really like about them is that they make the skin super smooth. Lots of blushes with shimmer enhance texture. These do not. They actually make your skin more smooth. So absolutely love these. Uh, I feel like they're worth the high-end price. I know these are super expensive, but I genuinely feel these are worth the high price tag. Okay, so the last blush is the one that I feel you guys are already expecting. It's such a cult favorite. Everybody seems to love it and it's been in the market for such a long time, but still it's such a bestseller. I'm talking about the NARS orgasm shade. It's such a weird name to say. This is famous for a reason. It's such a pretty peachy pinky shade with champagne or golden shimmer in it. Looks very pretty on the skin. 
this is such a multi-dimensional blush it looks really glam it's definitely a blush that i don't wear day to day i wear it to formal events especially at night i feel the glitter in the morning is a bit too much but at night time it looks absolutely gorgeous it is not a very pigmented blush so you don't get those clown cheeks but if you want to build it up you can but it does take a while Lots of blushes with glitter or a shimmer. It looks really unnatural on the skin. This does not. I love layering this over other matte blushes because it gives such a nice pretty sheen on top of that. Also, I love the color. I feel like it goes with pretty much any look and also it looks really nice with desi makeup and desi looks. Every time I have to dress up for a formal event, a desi formal event this is the blush i go for it's famous for a reason i have a mini size but this has lasted me for over four years now not over four years i got it when i got married i got a kit which had this and i instantly fell in love i've been using this a lot Shadi season are I'm going to wear this again a lot I know that I know a lot of people don't like a blinding highlighter anymore so if you don't like that I personally have stopped liking a very blinding highlighter because it looks so unnatural with this I skip highlighter it gives a perfect subtle glow this is definitely not a natural blush but it's a glam blush so if you want to look glamorous this is the blush to you I don't like using this in the daytime I feel this is a nighttime blush because the shimmer sometimes in the daytime it does tend to look unnatural, but at night, especially in those shadi lights, this looks gorgeous. So absolutely recommend this if you're someone who's getting married. You will get a lot of use out of this. Anytime I get a chance to get a mini, I get a mini because like I said, I don't use up makeup as quickly as I buy it. So it's quite wasteful. I love the fact that even this mini has lasted me for so long i got this when i got married and it's been four years now okay guys that's it for this video today i feel like i couldn't get the words out i don't know i was mumbling a lot and somehow words wouldn't come out of my mouth i don't know i feel like i need to get coffee anyway i hope you guys like this video and i'm going to make other videos in the series where i talk about high-end makeup i'm going to talk about highlighters bronzers concealers every and anything because i love making this video i know these videos don't do that well on my channel and everybody wants affordable makeup but once in a while i feel like it's fun to talk about high-end makeup as well so i hope you guys like this video and if there's any makeup related video you want me to film do let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video bye guys